it, Georgie. No! I'm gonna quit. This is such a good movie! I hope you're feeling spooky today. <gasps> oh my god, always! This entire month, this... The, the entire, like, up until December, I'm all spooky. <laughs> because today we're going to be looking at 10 of the highest grossing horror scary movies of all time in the U.S. Oh my god, I'm so excited. No, I'm about to walk out right now. I cannot do scary. I hate scary movies, but I have to watch them. It's like a weird addiction. So we're going to see if you can correctly place them in the order from highest grossing to least grossing. Oh, okay. But putting them in order is going to be hard because I feel like sometimes horror movies don't do as well as people think they do, like money-wise. So the list was put together by Forbes using Box Office Mojo, but what constitutes a horror movie does change from person to person. So you'll see various horror subgenres also mm. reflected on mm -hmm, this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel you, because sometimes there's horror versus scary. Horror to me is like more gruesome and like brutal, and scary could be like something just like psychologically thrilling. So there's like a lot of different type variations. All right, I'm excited though, because I feel like I have a really good general idea of horror and like the history of horror. So I think I'll be all right. So you ready to get spooked? Yeah, let's get spooky. To the losers. Ooh, it chapter two. That's coming off with the banger right off the bat. The big ones. Overhyped movie. It wasn't that great. If it isn't dead. Oh, they're older now. If it Man, back. flashbacks. We'll come back to you. Oh, Bill Hader, though. Pennywise. The casting? Mwah. <laughs> Yo, this is why I hate clowns. We can't let it happen again. Like, why would you even go in there? That's... Hello. Hello. Georgie. I feel like I need to get into it. I haven't seen any of them, and like people are not stopping talking about it. No pun intended. I feel like I haven't heard of a lot of people, at least that I know, go see it the way everyone saw the first one. I feel like since it was really recent, I don't think it has enough time to become the number one most grossing of all time. I'm gonna put it at number seven. I'll put it at eight. I'm gonna put it at nine. I'm gonna put it like fourth. Somewhere between science the exorcist. and superstition. Now we're talking. Original Exorcist. Damn. Science. Yo, I heard this was based off a true story. That's why it's like... Another world. <gasps> the world of dark. I feel like this has been back in theaters probably so many times to reruns and stuff too. This was my very first horror film. To me, I think this is like the most famous scary movie of ever. <laughs> so old. Nobody. My mom. Couldn't said she can't watch scary movies because of this. The only hope. Ahead of its time. The Exorcist. The Exorcist. This has to be a big one because that's just one of those like household scary movies, I think. But this whole list is gonna be like that. <laughs> I didn't watch this for years because I was like, I was fully of the belief that if I watch demon, shit, that I'm welcoming demon into my house. The Exorcist is an iconic movie. This seems way scarier than anything I've seen recently. I'm gonna say number three. That was, like, debatably, especially for an older generation, the scariest movie of all time. But typically, those don't, like, do insanely good at the box office. I'm gonna say seven. So I'm gonna put it at, like, three. Ghosts. Ghostbusters. OG Ghostbusters? Ooh, Bill yeah, Murray, man. boy. Ghosts. <laughs> Ghosts. Hello, Ghostbusters. Busters. They're mean. You have? They're See, these mean. are like older, though. Get them, boy. Don't cross the streams. It's interesting, because I wouldn't necessarily consider this a scary movie. See, this is like having way too much fun for a scary movie. Can we see a ghost? Catch <laughs> the ghost that won't stay dead. I love Bill Murray. This was one of his like best movies. He's so good. God, that had to have made a crap ton of money. That theme slaps still. There has to be a reason why it's had such a major legacy that it has, so it has to be pretty high on this list. I'll put it at four for now. I'm gonna put it at five. Honestly, I don't know much about that. I'm gonna say it's at like six. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say three. Ghostbusters! There's a ghost in my house. Anyone? What lies beneath? She said. I don't know if I've seen this. In my house. Anyone? I've never seen this film. She said. Oh, hell no. Uh -huh. I had an affair with her. She came out here to the house. Oh my God, Harrison Ford, what the heck? Get out! We can put this shit. Spooky, bro. You can go on. It's not too late. 
You had an affair with a girl who killed her. Ooh, this looks she's trying to really good. You. He was the perfect husband. Until his one mistake. Followed them home. Dun, dun, dun. I feel like this is a lifetime movie on steroids. So why you don't cheat people? You never know what's gonna happen. What lies beneath? It lies beneath all the other numbers. That's what. It's like a plan where it's like, what lies beneath? Mm -hmm. See? Marketing. I feel comfortable putting this at a 10. I'm not super familiar with this and I really haven't heard of it before. For now, I'm going to put it at number 10. I'll put it at like 10. It's sharp. Jaws. Ooh, Jaws. Okay, actually, I think this is either one or two. This might be the biggest one of all time because I don't go in the ocean because of this movie. Oh, this has got to be up high. I've never, I refuse to watch this movie. You're going to need a bigger boat. That is a scary movie, though, because it caused one of the largest fears, like, ever. None of man's fantasies of evil can compare. Wow. This still freaks me out. Oh, uh, a lot of classic horror films up here. Jaws has to be way up there. They have a universal ride. They've done so many sequels. They just can't kill this f***ing shark. Like, this is a movie that came out in the 70s, and it still sticks with people today. That's the crazy thing to me. People are afraid of the ocean because of this movie. I know this one made a lot of money. But I know newer movies make more money. <laughs> Whatever, I'll put it at one. I'm going to put this at five. Okay, I'm going to put it at three, because I know that's like a classic, too. I see dead people. Ooh, the sixth sense. Of course. Oh, this was such a big twist. Walking around like regular people. Haley Joel Osment. Are you sure they're there? Sometimes you feel it inside. Like you're falling. This was down. such a good film. Did you ever feel the prickly? Oh, I should watch this. It's on Netflix. <laughs> I should watch it again. Yes. That's them. This one was creepy though. They get mad. It gets cold. That's them. Oh my god, his voice. They get mad. No. I'm feeling some stuff on my neck right now. Oh, oh my god. What a freaking twist, dude. That was like one of the biggest twists in cinematic history. It's definitely one of those like quotable movies. When you hear like, oh, I see dead people, like you immediately like think of the movie. I, th I think this one is high up. A lot of people quote this all the time. I might switch this around later, but I'll put it at number two for now. I think that's gonna be one of the top two. It's so ubiquitous beyond like, like, like I see dead people. Like everyone knows the end of Sixth Sense and most people haven't even seen it. I'm gonna put it at number one. Hello, Michael. Halloween. Oh, the 2018 one? Oh, I don't know how well this did. I don't, did this do that well? I didn't see the 2018 one. The last one I watched was from like 2008 or something. Ah! Oh my God, the face. Ah! I just waited for this night. That soundtrack though, ooh! Just waited for me. I never really understood what was scary about stuff like this. Like you just walk away. Mm, creepy. I love Halloween. <laughs> That's one of those like ones that like I hear the music and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> They're doing another one. This bitch still isn't dead. Like <laughs> they're just gonna keep doing it forever and ever and ever. Like by the time I'm like 90 years old, it'll be like Halloween 999 haunts. Five? Ugh, I'm gonna have to do some readjusting. For now, I'm gonna put it at number eight. I'm gonna put this at number six. Eight. Because people like the Halloween franchise, but compared to some of the classics, I'm not sure it's high up in the ranks. I'm gonna tell y'all the rules to survive. Scary movie. The perfect mix between some horror, but mostly comedy, my type of stuff. I've seen this film a million times. Don't answer. I can't believe this is in the horror category. No, this is definitely a funny movie. I don't, <laughs> I don't see how this is supposed to be a scary movie. Can I um, see your feet? <laughs> what? Oh, I don't. Me when I try to scare someone. <laughs> The press only wants to Such a 2000 style. Oh, Look at their outfits. And whatever you God, I want more of these. This is actually what I would love a reboot of, is give us more scary movies. Yeah! Shoot. That has to be a big one because people who don't really like scary movies watched it. I love how funny it is. I love that it combines elements of horror and comedy. I love that I can watch it and laugh. I feel like this franchise has done so well. I guess I'll put it at number eight. I'm gonna put it at seven. It's more of a comedy than a, than a, a horror movie. <sighs> this is hard. Okay, I'm gonna put it at seven. Okay, see, it 2017. 
This could be number three. Okay, yes, I was expecting this to be on the list for sure. I mean, it makes sense, because the first one did so well, but I heard it's a remake of an original. Oh my god! This movie made such a comeback. This series is crazy. God, I probably, I watched this four times in theaters. It was so good. Ugh. I loved it. It's always like those movies where it's like, they have an abandoned house and they're like, oh yeah, let's go check it out. No, run right away. I'm gonna put this at number one because that scared the crap out of me. It made a lot of money, which makes me think that maybe it's number one because this was huge and it was so well received. Yeah, I'm gonna put it at number one. I think I saw it in theaters twice for sure. So my extra ticket plus everyone else's ticket. Oh. <laughs> my highest spot open right now is six, so I'll do that. Do you smoke? No! Butter? I'm gonna quit. This is such a good movie! How? Get out! Okay, this is what I was waiting for. Sink into How did I not think this, this is gonna be on the list? The social commentary in this movie is insane. Well, this ain't number 10. Like, there's no way this is number 10, so I have to do some serious rethinking. <laughs> See, and then this was way more psychological than other horror movies. Oh, God, what a great movie. This is like a iconic film of this generation now. Jordan Peele. They say horror and comedy have like similar beats and Jordan Peele just, he knows how to do it. He knows how to do comedy, knows how to do horror. I was definitely expecting this to be on there. I don't know if it for sure takes the number one spot, but I know that it's high up somewhere. So for now, I'll just put it there. <sighs> Only spot left, nine. <laughs> Thankfully, my last spot is I have number two and I think this fits in pretty well. I don't think this is the biggest of all time. Maybe it is. But even if I am wrong, I'm only one off, which is not that bad. So now that you've watched all of these, we're gonna give you a chance to make changes, so let us know when you're locked. I don't feel super confident on any of them. I kinda wanna put it in the number one slot. It is gonna be two, it two is gonna be three, and then some of the more classic ones are gonna come. I think What Lies Beneath is gonna be 10. I think it's good to go. And the number 10 spot is What Lies Beneath. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was my first guess. Damn. Okay, watch that be the only one though. Okay, Woo. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know why I put it at six. I never even heard about the movie. The number nine is Scary Movie. I put Scary Movie at nine. I swapped that. <laughs> ah, I would put it too high up. So I'm already two for two. Oh, f yeah, let's go. I'm good at this game. <laughs> number eight is Halloween. Oh, I put Halloween at number nine. So that gives me a point. Woo. I got that one. All right, garbage, whatever. Number seven is Get out. Really? I really thought that that'd be a lot higher. I almost even snuck that at number one. What? I would have thought that was number one. Oh, I was way off. That's gonna fuck shit up. <laughs> number six is It Chapter Two. Dude, my list is completely wrong, but it's okay. Okay, so I got one point. I put It Chapter Two at number seven. Damn. I was so, so off. No, I'm way off. I'm f***ed, guys. Number five is The Exorcist. Yo, I'm shook. Oh, I put that at five. Okay. Interesting, I was one off, so one point. Oh, I, Exorcist at four. <laughs> okay, yeah, Exorcist is such a huge cult classic that I figured it was in top five. At number four is Ghostbusters. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's a, uh, oh, I got that right. <laughs> nice. Ooh, hit that right on the nose. Let's go. Off by one, okay, plus one, plus one. We're at six right now, not bad. What? I mean, makes sense. It's funny so that like children can watch it too. Number three is Jaws. Oh my gosh, I'm killing the game. Yeah, okay, I got that right. Jaws at number two, okay. Jaws, really? I felt confident at one for that one. <laughs> Number two is The Sixth Sense. Mm. My initial instinct about The Sixth Sense was correct, which is that it would be higher up. Wow, I was way off, I put that at eight. That is crazy, I really did not think that that movie was that far up. And finally, at number one is It. All right, well, I made a good, at least that one was good judgment on my part. It, yup, I knew it. Got that top spot, baby. I had to save it for him. Oh, I got one point. Two points for it, chapter one. I'm pretty sure it's 10 points. 
Dude, I freaking know horror movies. You beat Tori by one. Get f***ing wrecked, Tori, let's go! <laughs> Tori loves horror movies too, so the fact that I beat her, I gotta go gloat a little bit. Boo! Thanks for watching this episode of College Kids React. Shout out to It's Dan. What's your favorite horror film? Let us know in the comments. Make sure to hit that subscribe button or the ghost will get you. Thanks for watching, bye. Hey guys, Ritu here, producer at FBE. Make sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe for more great episodes just like this one. And remember, we're in the comments in the first 30 minutes, so see you there. Bye guys.